Easter eggs and mounting death colors on death. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> mounting death colors. That's nice, actually. See, mounting death colors sounds poetic, but this is anything but. Easter eggs and mounting death colors ongoing struggle in Myanmar. And we have here from the Thager.com, Thailand unlikely, or Thailand, or I don't know what, how it's pronounced, Thailand. Thailand unlikely to join Asin in pressuring Myanmar juntas to stop bloodshed. Thailand's government is unlikely to join other members of a scene in calling for Myanmar's junta to stop the bloodshed. Fears over receiving a flood of refugees across the Burmese border and damages to its military ties may be of more importance to the kingdom, despite the government's recent claim that it is. It is. It is what? What is it? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let, don't leave us hanging. You cut us off at the wrong place. Despite the government's recent claims that it's gravely concerned over the situation in Myanmar. There you go. Gravely concerned. All that just for that. So we're end up doing uh, two stories on Myanmar. One was just focused on that one story. And then these are about the overall what's going on in Myanmar. Myanmar protests defy military as internet curbs test, test resolve. This is from usnews.com. Myanmar protesters defy military. Oh, I already read that. Uh, let's see. You're not showing me enough here, so let's, let's go check you out real quick here. So we have Myanmar clapped together in a show of dissent against the military junta on Monday as a regional bloc pro prepared for talks on the crisis that killed nearly 600. Look at that. Look at that. They're losing the culture war. You see that? They're losing the culture war. And unfortunately, people are losing more than culture wars over there because there are, so far, 564 people at least, that have been killed so far by so-called security forces in an effort to secure the junta. Myanmar activists launched radio program to promote federalism. Faced with government efforts to completely cut internet access, some Myanmar pro... Wow, they're going... See, they're going old school. They're going... You know, people should be studying what's going on in Myanmar because now they're going to be taken to the airways. Uh, I myself have a uh, an FM transmitter so i could send out an fm signal if i ever wanted to not that i want to uh i don't because I'm, I'm a decent american decent human being i love everything about this country and uh just just love it all just love it all there's no sarcasm there myanmar activist launches radio program to promote federalism i already read that federal fm radio went live april 1st at 90.2 megahertz its targeted broadcasting days were on thursdays and sundays the unlicensed radio station the pirate radio station aims to inform audiences about events throughout the country. And we got Myanmar, Myanmar security forces killed 564 people since coup. And then we have Myanmar protests take up Easter eggs. Now, this is uh, somewhat interesting. I really am very interested in this. That's why I put it in the title. Easter eggs, a symbol in Myanmar protests. Uh, opponents of military rule in Myanmar have inscribed messages of protest on Easter eggs, while others have returned to the streets, facing off with security forces after a night of candlelit vigils for hundreds killed since the February one coup. And the latest in a series of impromptu shows of defiance on Sunday, messages including We must win and get out, Ma! Referring to junta leader Ming Ang Hling. We're seen on eggs. Let's see what Ming... Uh, you are the person that is behind this. So let's see. What's your story here, Ming? There you go, Ming. What do you look like? There he is. This is the guy. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's losing the culture war. Look at that. Clearly, clearly losing the culture war. Wow. 